Hi, we're back to work on an end body. Here is me, Aaron Ardvark. This is the Git repository that I cloned. And if I look in the source directory, I'm going to see that the planet class that I created isn't here. And that's not at all surprising since the planet class I created is on my local machine inside my Eclipse workspace that I created. And here is that planet class. And just to make it clear how it's going to work, I am going to assign to some of my instance variables what's going on. The first thing I'm going to illustrate is one of the Eclipse features, which I can select everything and using the source menu, which you can't see right here, say I want to correct indentation. And it thinks that this is my correct indentation with double out there. That's fine. I'm going to say my xpos gets xp and my ypos gets yp. That's part of the constructor and I'm going to leave you to do the rest. But we can see here I failed these x's and y's when I ran the test planet constructor class. So before I made these changes, the last time I ran this, I failed the x and y check. Now I'm going to run the test planet constructor class again. Errors exist, proceed, and you can see I passed the X and Y now. And that's because in my planet constructor, I assigned to these instance variables. I need to make sure that in this constructor, I assign to all of the instance variables. And then in this constructor, I'm going to need to assign all the instance variables values. The purpose of a constructor is to make sure that an object the one that's being created by a call to new elsewhere is properly created. And that means assigning values to those instance variables or being okay with the default values, which are 0, 0, 0, and the null string. So I've made some changes to planet. I'm actually on my way to pass, but I have to go eat because I'm meeting some friends. I want to make sure I push my code up to my Git repository. So I'm going to my command line. Here it is. This is my git shell or my terminal window on my Mac. And we can see that I'm in the workspace. If I type ls, I'll see that I'm in that nbody class. So I'm going to cd into nbody. Now, the flow for pushing all my code that's changed up to my git repository requires three steps. The first step is git add dot. That means add everything that I've changed. Now I need to commit what I'm doing. And commit requires an argument. The dash M is the message. And I'm saying created planet class. That's a message. And when you type commit, you must have this dash M or it will not work properly. And we can see that I've changed some files. In particular, I've changed the planet.java file and some other ones too. Now I'm going to type git commit. Uh-oh. So I meant to type git push. I typed the wrong thing. So what I just reminding you of what I did here. The last commands were git add dot, git commit dash m. This was a mistake, and git push. So the three commands are git add dot, git commit dash m, and then git push. And now if I look up at my space on Aaron Ardvark and I hit reload, miracle of miracles, there's my planet class all ready to go. I've synced up by pushing to my Git repository my code that I created on my local machine, Git. When it works, it's great. When it doesn't, give up. Okay, no, just have fun.